And Senate Bill 28 provides employers with a tool to protect their workplace from individuals who are known to be threatening or violent. Let me illustrate this with an example. A person lingers outside of a restaurant and makes threats of violence toward employees as they go in and out of work. In this case, local law, en law enforcement can't take any action because the person making threats hasn't committed any crime. If the employer can afford to do so, they can hire an attorney to file a, liberal, a civil lawsuit and seek a temporary restraining order, but that process can take several days and cost thousands of dollars. In this case, a workplace violence protection order would instruct the threatening or violent person to not make any contact with the workplace or the employees at the workplace. The procedure for workplace violence protection orders in Senate Bill 28 is modeled after domestic violence protective orders. Protective orders are processed within 24 hours and are enforceable by public safety officers. And, and this would make it the process available for workplaces that were actually seeing either real threats or individuals that had actually committed acts of violence at the workplace. And it's limited to the workplace. I want to thank the committees that have worked on Senate Bill 28, ensuring that this legislation empowers employers to keep their workplaces safe without reaching into the personal lives of, of their employees. We've worked closely with the Alaska Network on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault on Senate Bill 28, and we hope that this will help Alaska join 11 other states across the nation that have a protective order process like this to keep workplace safe. And I'm happy to answer questions, but urge a yes vote on this important legislation. <laughs>